We've been waiting for this since 2016, when Elon Musk first time announced plans for super heavy rocket, variously named Falcon XX, BFR, ITS, MCT, and now finally Starship. This is historical, and we can't understate how monumental this event will be for space exploration and space travel, and future of humanity in space. First, I need to apologize to you all for going silent for past eight months. As you know, my channel tends to be very positive, has a positive spin on space exploration and tries to explain stuff that everyone can understand. That being said, I also look at stuff with more positive perspective. I'm fully aware of all the pitfalls of space exploration and how long it takes to achieve certain goals, especially when it comes to complicated issues surrounding space exploration. That being said, I also sometimes need a dose of reality and although my absence from YouTube is not related to SpaceX or YouTube community, I needed to take some time off. Back to relevant news here, SpaceX will try to execute first suborbital flight test with the Starship. The aim is for the Starship SN8 to reach 15 km orbit. This is around 50,000 feet if we talk about imperial measurements. According to SpaceX box Elon Musk, SpaceX is aiming to launch its latest Starship rocket prototype as early as next week in what it could be a company's most ambitious flight test to date. Earlier, Musk confirmed that Starship SN8 successfully completed a test firing of its three engines ahead of the flight attempt. The next launch is aiming to reach 15 km altitude, well above the 150 meter flights of the prototypes, predecessors SN5 and SN6, which completed flight tests on August 5th and September 3rd. The prototypes are built of stainless steel and represent the first version of the rocket that Musk unveiled last year. All the Starship development is an ongoing process and we have been given inkling that there will be a design changes to Starship in coming months. The current design will still perform series of tests. Main task of SpaceX Starship will be launching cargo into low Earth orbit or the Moon, perform orbital refueling as well as transport up to 100 people at times on missions to Mars. Before all this can take place, SpaceX will push Starship through a series of tests and development milestones with Starship SN8. Goals are to test free engine ascent, body flaps, transition from main to header tanks, and landing flip. When Musk was asked what he thought about chances of Starship prototype landing intact after the flight, Musk gave Starship SN8 low odds of complete success on the first try. A lot of things needs to go right, so maybe one third of chance, Musk said. But that's why we have Starship SN9 and SN10. Starship SN9 and SN10 are almost complete at SpaceX growing facility in Boca Chica, Texas. Originally, SpaceX envisioned fully reusable rocket and Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy were a stepping stone towards that goal. Partially reusable Falcon 9 rockets proved to be a very successful concept for SpaceX, so much so that the company cornered nearly half of all commercial orbital traffic in less than a decade. Musk's goal is to make Starship fully reusable, envisioning a rocket that is more akin to a commercial airplane, with short turnaround times between flights, where the only major cost is fuel. Starship is the next step, step that will make space travel, space exploration, or just simply sending stuff into low Earth orbit, very simple, cost effective and quite cheap when compared to the current competitors. In that respect, Starship development is nowhere near the end. Starship SN8 will test some of the components and systems, with SN9 and SN10 feature small improvements, with major upgrades planned once SpaceX begins work on a prototype SN15. This is according to Musk. Eventually, final version of Starship that will feature six Raptor engines. Starship will be capable of taking up to 100 people to the Moon or Mars, according to Mars. Although personally, I can't imagine being stranded in confined space with 100 other people. Presume that number will go down to perhaps 40. The 50 meter Starship will launch from Earth atop of massive rocket known as Super Heavy, which will be powered by about 30 Raptors of its own. The Starship vehicle will be powerful enough to blast itself 
off the moon and Mars, whose gravitational pulls are much weaker than that of our Earth. Both Starship and Super Heavy are designed to be fully and rapidly reusable, a technological breakthrough that SpaceX believes will make ambitious exploration feats such as Mars colonization economically feasible. SpaceX has already booked one Starship customer, Japanese billionaire Yasuku Mazawa, who will fly around the moon on the vehicle. The target launch date for the mission is 2023. Starship is also in the running to land NASA astronauts on the moon as part of the space agency's Artemis program. Artemis aims to put two astronauts down near the lunar south pole in 2024 and establish a sustainable human presence on and around the moon by the end of the decade. I'll live stream the event on my YouTube channel. It'll be a commentary as well as discussion about what lies ahead for SpaceX. Even if Starship fails to land, which is quite probable according to Musk, it is just the beginning of a journey towards ultimate goal of seeing humans land on Mars. Starship SN9 and SN10 are already ready for the next phase of test, which should happen within a month or two from this initial flight test. SpaceX will also start work on a program for NASA which includes orbital refueling and lunar lander. I'm working on another lengthy video looking at the planetary habitability. The video is looking at what makes a planet suitable for life. I'll try to upload that by the end of next week. By the way, if you like this video, please press like, share this video and consider subscribing. Thank you.